Somewhere in the heart of England lies a park. For centuries, part of our national heritage. Nothing unusual about it until one summer's day. Hey, Maggie! Where have you gone? Oh, up here! Where have you gone? To you. Nothing. What happened to you? Hey, Maggie. She looks sort of different. sort of invisible. Uh, the trouble is, we don't know what it is that we're dealing with. I'm afraid it sounds like mathematics. Then the doctor can help, can't you, doctor? Sally Ann, I told you. Oh, very well. We can lay on transport. No need, Brigadier. Come with me. Doctor, stop! You're almost touching it. Touching what? Well, that's just it. We don't know. Williams, show them what happened. Things just vanish. How fascinating. Hmm. Got a few canteens? You may need to start breakfast. No plates. I need plates. About 50 paper plates, some tent bakes, and a mallet. Well, come on, man. We haven't got all day. We can see where it is. It's a straight line. And everything that tries to cross the line disappears. No, Brigadier. You see it disappear. It disappears when you look at it from this side. But everything that's already over there looks quite normal. To us. Exactly. Now, how far is the phonies from the line? Williams, take measure. to do with things disappearing. It's just a theory I've got. Ah, oh, good. Thank you. Now, tweet. Six meters, 14 centimeters. Ah. You stay here, Brigadier. We're going over there. Oh, it's all right, Sally Ann. In the phonies, we don't actually need to cross the line. There we are. Oh, there. Ha -ha. Oh, oh Brigadier, we'd better synchronize our watches. Ah. Well, it's just coming up to three o'clock. Yes. Four seconds. Three, two, one. Ah. Jolly good. Oh, Brigadier. Bye-bye. Au revoir, Doctor. <laughs>
clock. I didn't think we traveled in time. Doctor. Yes? Look. Of course, that's it. It's still three o'clock, but we've been reflected. Now look, there's a mirror line, and if my theory is correct, now this should be, if I can read this, six meters, 14 centimeters. Yeah. Simple, Brigadier. That line of plates marks the position of a powerful antimirror. It destroys by reflection. By reflection? Yes. Now, let me have a little cogitate. Yes. If only we had an ordinary mirror. That... Oh. Good girl, Sally Ann. <laughs> and a handkerchief? Ah. Uh, uh, oh, lovely. Oh, yeah. Now, this might just work. Now, if I keep it covered with a handkerchief, now watch. If I point it directly at the line and uncover it, 